Tommy Vassetti? <laughs> Shit. Then they'd never let him out. He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we going to do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town. Okay. We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep their backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg. Schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vassetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. It's uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, 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 great, hey. Well, uh, I'm going to drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business, and the other one does the Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight. Let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s. Used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! Poke my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovels shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Hello, Sonny. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money! No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm going to let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are going to come down here and rip my head off. It's re...
ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are going to be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't going to be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go. Come on. Who does that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with him? I like this shirt. Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or mental well-being, Mr. Rossetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Caramia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our congressman, Alex Shrub, with rising silicone star, Candy Sachs. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Nope. Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... Music. And that cool side amphibian is Jez Torrent. Lead singer with Love Fest. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong? Exactly. Let me tell you. It does not involve a paddle, if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo intellectual film director Fisher, Steve all Scott. All the throws a passion with the Nippo invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. Ah, now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as ever a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Well, then not, amigo. How do we find you? <laughs> Our business is very trying. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemy, amigo. Who's the loud male? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Coke. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get out of here. Sure Actually, you take me to the pole Drop position. Drinks. See you around, handsome. I'm sure you will. Ah, well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slime ball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now.
Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know why I am? Looking for some hey. English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. You're lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Kent Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Kiss another drink, bruv. Everybody's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Trust, mate. It's a mud sky. What do you know about? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, that's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some, too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. Be sure about that. Here, take this. Follow me. See what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. Ah! Oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that point oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor. Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look, it's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out. I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no. I tried that. The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life? I, I can't believe this is happening. Innocent until I say otherwise. He's not guilty. Avery goes without saying. Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later. Tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party. Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay. calm down, both of you. 
Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we got to go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. Mr. Versetti. Colonel. Thank you for coming. Please sit. Lobster. No, thanks. Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem appears to have been the loose tongue of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years. But now his incompetence reaches new heights. It's only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. For this kindness, I'll reward you. And then... We will find your money together. He will be at his penthouse, half drunk, probably. Use this. I'm going to shut that big mouth of yours. Uh, he's got a blade. Stop running, you fat slime ball. You boys for me, you cheap bastard. Oh, sweet Jesus! I've wasted my life and my look! I'm a cop, okay? Stand still and I'll make it quick. Tommy, come and join me. This looks delicious, huh? Cap your snout. No, oh, no, no, no thanks. Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue with my inquiries, but in the meantime, I have a valuable deal to close. A paper for a friend, Cortez? You're a good friend, Tommy. I knew you would not let me down. I need you to meet a courier who has obtained some valuable technology for me. The rain. She is very wet this time of the year. What? Ah, come on. Look, Cortez sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh, d'accord. Freeze imperialist American pig. That is property of a gouvernement français. Hand it over. You American idiot. They followed you here. Shoot him, You've got to do better, Mr. Snell. Tomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh. Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. Hogging all the action, I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me Why everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Can you see me on You must be called Tessa's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. He'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay. I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Uh, get out the way. Just stand there! 
there, you pricks! Chase the Haitian dickhead down! I live! Dickheads! And it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. <laughs> Shit. Where's that guy, Lance? Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here, now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. Is this me? Nice ass, baby. Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as planned, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now I'm going to head out of town for a while, and if that office development were to face sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? Watch it, I... your head off. Uh, who is this dickhead? Tommy Versetti. You remember me. Excuse me. I'm a little anxious. Never trust a goddamn horse. You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for up. Me. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill you. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is going to be easy. Give me an idea. Oh, shit! Give me some money. Loser! Too slow, Granddad. You better keep on running, asshole!
What kind of incompetent fool are you? Fool! 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 Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they can sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here, Quentin, Quentin! He'll fly you over the area. Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? What are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. Yes, was pleased and would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm merely thinking out loud. No matter. I have a proposal that you could profit. I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me. And once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Then... Tommy, this is Donald Love. Donald, this here is Tommy Vercetti, the latest gunslinger to come to these parts. Now, Donald, you just shut up and listen, and you might learn something. Now, nothing brings down real estate prices quicker than a good old-fashioned gang war. Except maybe a disaster like a biblical plague or something, but that may be going too far in this case. You getting this down, you four-eyed prick? Now, recently a Haitian gang lord died. Apparently the Cubans did it. Nobody's certain, but let's make them certain. You disguise yourself as a Cuban hombre and head on down and crash that funeral. Mix it up and then hightail it. You getting this down, Donald? Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? And then we'll just sit back and watch the prices tumble. Not so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Whoa, watch where you're waving that thing. No more pigeon shit on my car, eh, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> you're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream, a faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard has just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy, I want that boat. Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your ah! pigeons are back. Jack! Plastic crap! You doing this to me? Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Oh. Oh. Screw you! It is my favorite Albuto movie. It's died. What else can I do? It's probably not plugged in. What? Damn. No matter. I can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy... Each month, a freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. 
I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here. Okay? Let me guess. You thought I could use a guardian angel. I'm just saying, you need to let me in there, my man. Now, you can feed me all this lonely tough guy crap. But I know one day, I'm going to save your ass, and you're probably going to want to kiss me. Wacko. <laughs> we got some competition. So, Tommy, we know it was Diaz busted our deal. So why in the hell are we running errands for? The more we learn now, the less we have to learn when we take this town over. I like your style, man. Real fresh. It's time for the Fans Fans Dance! Good shooting, my friend. You're a real, proper, grade-A lunatic. Well, thank you. See you around, Tommy. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. I must. I'm gonna say you're Vera, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker Diaz, the buglemeister? He's got your boy Lance. Word is, you might try to jump. You didn't jump high enough, if you know what I mean. Where did he ah, take him? Ah! Oh, I In right, plain mate. English. Keep your party on. You got him across town the junkyard. Bloody hell, you nutter! My careful planning blown to shit. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. He killed my brother. What do you expect me to do? Mow his lawns? We're gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure. I guess. Nice to see you too. Let's get out of here. Get patched up. Maybe on the bridge of Star Island. Okay? Okay, I got you. Circumstances force a hasty departure, amigo. What's the problem? Ah, the French want their missile technology back. And after that last incident, I feel it is time to find safer homes. Wouldn't it be safer to fly? I'd be dead before I reach check-in. Besides, I need to get my merchandise out of the country. Need another gun? You, my friend, are worth ten guns. <laughs> Tomas, you have protected and served me well. And now you must leave us before we reach the open seas. I will lower my personal launch. Keep it, my friend. A token of my gratitude. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, one more request. While I'm away, could you keep an eye on Mercedes for me? I think she could look after herself, but sure, I'll keep an eye out. Gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. Got us some cannons in the trunk. Holy shit. Where'd you get all this stuff? Been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> you like? Yeah, I like.
You stupid pricks! My beautiful house! Look what you done to it! This is for my brother! I trusted you, Tommy! <laughs> I would have had you made! Say goodnight, Mr. Diaz! Oh, we gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the... You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory. And let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle. Or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. What's the problem? Some bars refusing to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. You moron! What were you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all the be so- I don't know, the timer must have got screwed. The place was wired to go up like a firework factory. And somebody tipped off the cops. But What's the problem, fellas? Mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall. But he screwed the fuses, and now yeah, the cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here. Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. Tommy Versetti just doesn't cut and run. The cops are gonna be going over that building with a fine-tooth comb, right? But that takes time. We gotta go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but no one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms, and we're gonna need a squad car. All thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a locker, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. Him up and gag him. Ooh, fits perfectly. A bit tight around the crotch, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. Remember, smile at the other cops. Hey there, officer. Nice badge, nice badge. Real smooth, Lance. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Five seconds! We gotta get the hell out of here! Tommy, glad you could make it. Hey, you ever met Love Fist before? No, I haven't, but I've always loved your music. Let me introduce you to the band. This is Per Percy, Dick, and Willie's in the car's here, and that was Jez in the booth earlier. And guys, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. This is Tommy. We go way back. Hey, pal. And, uh, what was your name again? <laughs> hey, uh, Jez, you remember. Lovefest. Don't be Dead playing them games with me, Jesus. mate. I'm too crafty for that sunshine. English prick. Good See, one in America. The, the thing is, Tom, mental. the boys need some help. They ain't too connected here. They don't have the old hands, your father. Enough. We need some drugs, pal. Gotta get on the old <laughs> love fest, yeah, yeah, nice you know? Yeah. Well, this is Vice City, man. What's the problem? Love juice, man. We need love juice, man, can? Love juice? Aye. Two parts boom shine, one part trumpet, five fizz bombs, and a litre of petrol. Can you help us out, pal? Oh, we really mean a lot you to the boys. You can do that for the boys, right?
Looking for something special? I got what you need. Thanks for the money, sucker. Hey, Mercedes. Hiya, Tommy. And how are you? Just fine. Listen, you fancy having love fist? Okay. But just as a favor, I expect returned. I see you later, big boy. Tommy, man, am I glad to see you. What's going on? Bad vibes, Tommy. I am knee joking again. It is heavy stuff, man. Heavy gas. This cat, we hardly know him, but he knows us. Like this cat. Knows all about us. Knows that Willie likes his ladies' underwear, eh? Or that Percy likes to do that. Shut up, you fool. Just hey. go jazz bomb yes. sheet. It's a love rocket thing, can? <laughs> Shut yeah, up. Yeah, a love rocket <laughs> thing, right? But listen, this cat. The, the guy wants Love Fist dead. Dead, Tommy. Love Fist, gone. You know what they say, the good die young, but Tommy, you've got to save Love We've Fist. We've got a signing in two hours, and I think... Yeah, and the boys think the stalker's going to try some monkey business there. For Big Mitch Baker. Who's looking? Tommy Rossetti. Rossetti? You don't look like the law, so that's bought you a minute. You better talk fast. Ken Paul said you might be interested in pulling security for a gig he's got set up. Ken Paul? Shh. No wonder he sent you. The last time he was here, he left through the window in nothing but his limey birthday suit. Are you interested or not? We only do favors for our own. How do I join? This ain't no country club, boy. Can you handle a bike? Can you sit on a stool and drink? Cougar, Zeppelin, go see how this girl handles the bike. <laughs> ah, got you again. Hey, Rossetti, Cougar says you can handle a bike pretty good. Yeah, how many more errands am I gonna have to run? I'm a very busy man. If it's a fight that's gonna sell this, then bring it on. Being one of us ain't just about brawling. It's about being part of a family. Yeah, I've been part of a family before, all right? It didn't work out. Yeah, all right, but this family takes care of its own. We don't ask a man to do the dirty work and then let him do 15 years hard time. Yeah, that's right, I've done my homework. This here's the biggest family of misfits, outcasts, and badasses. Hell, some of us have even been betrayed by our own country. I was locked up during non ugly business. Which is why I'm going to ask you to go mess with the man. This whole damn country needs a kick in the ass, and we're the ones to deliver it. So get out there, grab a bike, and show this city how pissed you are. All right. All right. Hey there, Mitch. Well, if it ain't badass for Seti. Now I want to see how good you can fight for your patch. A local street gang made the mistake of stealing my hog. Probably because of some machismo thing or something. Me and the boys would go over there and teach them a lesson in respect and all. Anyways, then I got to thinking. This would make a good initiation for you. You get my bike back, you can tell Paul he's got his security. Come on. Come on, come on.
Tommy! Tommy! Tommy, man, that psycho's back! What's going on? That psycho won't leave Love Fist alone! You didn't kill him, man, and now he's back! Yeah, 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 the thing is... The thing is, we need someone to drive the limo we can trust, because that nutter keeps making threats! Don't shout, man, I need my mom! We're all breaking ourselves, man! Okay, guys, calm down, I'll handle this. Normally I wouldn't busy myself with driving around a bunch of drunken Scottish bisexuals. But in your case, I'll make an exception. Last man, time for a well earned drink. Are you finished? Just a hundred yards doing the road, man. Better make it a large one, then. Hey, Tommy, change the tunes, man. I get all confused if my head's not banging. Ah, oh, look, what's this? Hey, Tommy, stick this tape on. Love Fist, your time polluting the airwaves is over. I gave you the chance to be friends. Well, now I'm giving you the chance to die. You try and slow down, your limousine will explode along with your big airy asses. So you know? No, I don't think I do. Oh yeah? You come here, tough guy. You think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? No, I think you're playing plenty stupid enough for both of us. Hey, he call you dumb, son. And I call him a little girl, puppy. Look at him, all dressed up like that. What is this, ladies night? You some guy, a tough guy? You dress like a woman? You got on panties like a woman too, huh? What do you got against women? You prefer men, big boy? I like women. I like all women. I love my mother, Chico. All right, all right. I'll take your word for it. Relax. Can you drive, amigo? Yeah. Like a woman. <laughs> Very funny. I like you, big boy. Maybe you can help. Maybe you can prove you're a man, huh? Take out the boat. Show me you got some big cojones. And not some little very chiquita ones. Hey, I'm Rico. You the man with the big cojones? Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Okay, man. Treat her like a woman. Papi, Papi. Who grabbed Lorema? Humberto, my son, what happened? The Haitians. I hate these Haitians. They mess with me for the last time. This, this is, we'll take him out. Only we need some backup. I lost a few hermanos already out there. Amigo, you drive good. For a woman, right? This is no time for joking. Come on, drive for me again. Take my boys over there, and then we'll take these Haitians down. When they mess with me, they mess with the biggest boy in town. Alberto. Uno cafe, Papa, senor. Don't serve the snake in the sauce. You're two-faced, Tommy. You're either two-faced or you're a wimp, baby boy. The Haitians, man, they're laughing at me. Easy, easy. What's your problem? They're laughing at me, Tommy, at me, Humberto Rubino. They're doing whatever they like. Nobody does whatever they like, Humberto. They do what you let them do. What? You want somebody taken care of? I can handle it, but it's going to cost you. I know we're brothers and all, but this is business. Tommy, you are real man. Businessmen, a gentleman. These Haitians, they have a load of product coming in offshore. Really good stuff. 
we take it. And we finish them. You take it. And I look after you. Like my brother. Like my son. I think I prefer the cash to being bounced on your knee, amigo. Hey, Rico. Nice boat. You ready? See, si, Tommy. Now you be a good shot today. My boat, she no good. Full of holes, okay? my dear and rest your soul you must be the big bad man my granddaddy been chatting about tell me things about you you know when he visits and about the others who wait for you now we all dead from long time but you I wouldn't want to be in your shoes <laughs> I got a message to come here can you hear them them calling your name boy must want you pretty bad don't you think now you do all Auntie Pulea turn, and maybe she help you. Maybe she can give you a little juju after all of this. Give you some magic to give the llama and the stink eye. Hey? Mm? Look, this is all very, um, give me what? I, I, I think I got the wrong address. Give me these things, Tommy. The Cubans nasty proud foo-foos. Mm. Been making my lovely Haitian boys shake their heads. Now they told the policeman where me been stashing my powders. They think it drugs. Them stupid. Now be a good boy, Tommy, and go and get the powders for Auntie Poulet. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Oh, sorry, I, I must have the wrong address. Well, you might as well come in and rest your souls and have some tea. Do you have something there for me, Tommy? Yeah. This place feels familiar to me. Uh, it's a, a smell from childhood, a deja vu. Now, Tommy, I'm going to whisper a little errand for you. Hear me well, I. You look like someone I... I... The Cubans have fast boats they use to cross the seas with drugs. It is their livelihood. My nephew been making little flying bombs to take them out. Blow the boats to coffin wood. Thanks for the tea. Hello? Hello? Uh, I'm looking for somebody around here. You're looking hungry, Tommy. Do I know you? Hush now. One more thing and I can let you go, Tommy. My boys can war with them Cuban boys, but no guns. But the Cubans have a surprise coming. While they fight in the streets, you take this rifle and kill them in the hubbub. No one sees you, no one hear you. Now, Tommy, you do this for me, and you no longer tie to my apron strings. Okay, Auntie. Hey, lady! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill me a Haitian. And then, and then I'm gonna make love like a man. You know that, Chica? Something like this. Ah, 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 ah. Who's that? Hey, baby! Oh I wouldn't God. touch you with a ten foot pole! Humberto Rubina, he him. likes the lady, so not funny. some goat in a skirt! Tommy! Tommy! I love you! I love you! Let's go! <laughs> go where? Can I get a cup of coffee first? No time for coffee! Besides, I just had one! We're gonna take out the Haitians! Tommy, how do you take out a snake? You bite him in the ass! <laughs> Whatever you say, Humberto. Tommy, you go and get us a little Haitian car. When you get it, come back and pick up my boy, Pepe. And take them out to the Haitians. Then, you go around to the Haitians' processing plant. 
and you use your solvent as an explosive. Boom! Bye-bye! Humberto, what about you? Uh, I'm going to stay behind and watch over that cafe with Papa. He not feeling so good, you know? The last thing I need... Tommy, look at this. This is great. I've got us this mini bar installed. We got a whole bar downstairs, Ken. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, I got the chalkboard you asked for. Ah, that's the benefit of a law school education. The ability to follow instructions. No, I need a safe man. Oh, all right, well, let me think. Safe, safe, safe. I got it. This guy will blow you away. Ah, no, nah, that schmuck. He's on the inside. Where inside? In a police headquarters cell awaiting transfer. I think he's about to get paroled. Cam Jones? Yeah, that's me. I'm busting you out. Whatever you say. You Lose the heat and get me back to my place. Yo, you better be careful, can't be I'm gonna be doing a job, and you're my safe cracker. Beats losing my ass in his cell. We need a stick-up man, you know one? Hey, Tommy! 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 This stuff keeps you sharp, man! Woo! I could be your stick-up man! Stick him up! Stick him up! You ain't a stick-up man, you're an idiot! Now get yourself a drink and shut up! Hey, get out of my way! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Ow, ow, ow! Relax! Cam, what do you think? Well, the best shooter in this town is a guy named Cassidy. Is that so? Yeah, a military guy, or thinks he is. I doubt he was ever in the army, but he certainly knows how to get a hold of guns. He'll be down at the shooting range. Phil 
Cassidy? Why? I'm looking for a man who can handle a gun. In this setup, I'm not too convinced. Son, I can shoot a fly off your head at 80 feet. Oh, really? Yeah, I learned it in the Army. Fly shooting real popular in the Army? Glad I don't pay tax. You trying to be funny, kid? Things are starting to come together nicely here. What's the plan, Tommy? Que pasa, amigo? The plan is you keep doing that like a moron. <laughs> Anyhow, we need a driver. Tommy, I'll do it. I can drive. <laughs> you want Hillary, mister. Not some smart talking law school chum. Hillary's a real deal. You ain't never seen anyone drive so fast. I'll give him a call here. Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. Oh, no, I don't think he was in the service. But he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay, I understand. What do you say? Well, he'll do it, no problem. Well, there might be a little problem. See, he has abandonment issues. Seems he won't work for anyone who can't beat him. Something to do with his mama. Anyway, he wants to race you first. Said he'd meet you outside. Abandonment issues. Who is this freak? Why can't I meet someone normal for a change? You, Tommy? Oh, of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you. Okay, I'll drive for you, but please treat me bad. As you can see, gentlemen, this is going to be the easiest buck we ever made. <laughs> Tommy, seriously, you got to consider going into law. <sighs> what the hell are you smoking, man? This ain't no simple plan. Well, who needs a simple plan anyway? Take communism. Now, that was a simple plan. Didn't do Russia any favors, huh? Calm down, all right? With a team like this, it's going to be no problem. We got Cam on safe. Phil, you and me will handle security. Hillary will drive together. I, I, I don't. Uh, <laughs> aren't you forgetting somebody? Somebody who helped you to no end in this town? Somebody Ken! Like Ken, that's right. Ken here, he washes the money for us. And he keeps the drinks on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Look, it's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? We walk into the bank. We wave the gun around and leave very rich men. Driving around the block, okay? Okay, Tommy, okay. Okay, guys, nice and easy, just as we planned. This is a raid! Nobody move! Everybody up against that wall! Phil, hold down the fort. Wilco, roger that! Come on, Cam, the vault's upstairs. It's a flangy 9000. This could take hours to crack. Or five minutes if you could find the manager. I'll go find where he's holed up. You, you're coming with me. Okay, okay, just don't shoot.
It's on a time lock. You might as well give up now. Hell, I can bypass the time lock. Then we just need your key code and we're good. Stay here. You try anything and you're dead. I'm gonna check on Phil. I'll be right back. Clay City SWAT, you are completely surrounded. Surrounded? <laughs> They're crapping themselves. You rotten bastard. Tommy, the vault's open. Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay, you asked for it. You had your last chance. They're storming the place. Take cover! We made it! We're rich! Rich! Tommy, would you like a massage? Well, hi there, Mercedes. Yeah, I'm a little tense. What'd I tell you, Tommy? What'd I tell you? Ben Swap better watch out when Ken Paul is in town. Come on, give me a bigger slice, mate. Come on, I've got to get some new threads. What a Phil Cassidy's moonshine still. Shit, Phil. Did you drink that stuff? The hell, you don't have to drink it. Just a good whiff will set you off. Ah, Listen, Phil, you said you could fix me up with some firepower. Sure thing. There's some Mexican gun runner. Been doing me for business of late. He does his weekly run about now. <laughs> hey. Ram his hardware off the back of his trucks before he goes to ground. And you'd be doing me a favor while you're at it. Then finish him up. Hey, Phil. How's it going? Hey, Tommy! How you doing? This bit you lot. I swear you should lay off that boom shine, man. It smells like paint stripper. It's making my eyes burn. Shh, 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 Tommy. Hey, come over here because there's something I want to show you. Shumption. Oof, God, should I be able to smell that from way over here? Like Don't you worry about the Phil. smell. Oof. You just watch this. <sighs> Shitty, cheap, bad or something. There's some more on the bench. Ta-da! Oh, damn! Guess you're the new owner. What are you, mob, cartel? You don't look Mexican. Anywho, I guess you better get on with the things are gonna change around here, crap. Maybe threaten one of the drivers. Go steady on Ted over there. He's just had his hernia fixed. Well, uh, yeah, things are gonna change around here, lady. Oh, crap, Sonny. Might as well leave this to me. I've been doing this for years. Now, here's this. We are now under new management, and things are going to change around here again. Our new management team. Which gang are you? Well, I'm not part of any gang, actually. What's your goddamn name, kid? Mercedes. 
Tommy Versetti. Our new manager, the Versetti gang, is going to make sure we get no trouble. Capiche? Our... Did you like the capiche? I like the capiche. So this is how it's worked in the past. We run the firm as usual. If we get any trouble from rival firms, you beat the crap out of them. Then they beat the crap out of us. Then you beat the crap out of them, etc., etc. You got it? Uh, yeah, I guess. Just grab a taxi from the garage if you feel like jumping in. Keep beating us to it. They just got too many cars. We can't compete. Mr. Bassetti, if you're out there listening in, you want to put the VC caps out of action before we go bust. Car 13, we got a missed car test. Ask for you especially. Okay, I got it. Car 13, out. No sign of Mercedes. It's time for Kaufman's cabs, Guardian Angel, to eat some fender. B.J. Smith, and you must be Mr. Bassetti. Would you like the tour? Might as well. Well, I'm very sad to be selling the dealership to y'all. This is my first investment after I turned pro. But now, it's time for me to move on. You're leaving town. Not in too much of a hurry, I hope. No, I'm just coming out of retirement and preparing for my future comeback. The business wasn't too strong, and my staff took it upon themselves to get a bit more creative with the generation of wealth. Obviously, I could wind down the business before handing it over. Hell, I could burn the place down if I wanted to. This is prime development land. Oh, I wouldn't worry about any of that. This place seems perfect. Yeah, it does. So I take it we have a deal. Hey, suit dude, I guess you're the new owner. Yeah. Which one of the boats is the fastest? It's already in the water, dude. I thought you might want to try her out. Dude, she's already running with a 300 horsepower and engine. And the fiberglass hull? She just shoots through the waves. She can do like zero to 60 in four seconds flat, well, dude. And she can hold like 20 bales of the best Jamaican yeah, smoke yeah. right in the hull. So go ahead, dude. She's ready to fly. Yo, yo, uh, suit dude. You got a light? Dude. Dude.
What's going on? Who are you? Your new owner. Were you now or at any time a child? What are you talking about? Were you a child? Yes, calm down. I What's knew you? it. A child. A dirty, stinking, sniveling, snotting, vile, puking, crying little baby. A baby! An awful, horrible, disgusting little bell. Oh, mommy doesn't love you. You little shit. Ow, calm down. I hate babies, and I hate children. They're dirty, sniveling, snotting, vile, puking Enough little... already! What is wrong with you? You make soft ice cream, okay? It's purely for kids. What kind of psycho are you? Just so I understand this, why make children happy if you oh, hate them? Oh, you stupid, sniveling, snotty... Shut up! Rat! The ice cream is a front. We distribute other non-dairy products. And if I see a kid, I put him to good use. Don't I, kiddies? Yes, yes, I do. Mommy doesn't love you. She hates you. What a nice thing. Action. Whoa! Now that's big. Twelve inches. That is regulation, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Cut! Who is this idiot? You! You! Why are you in my space? Why? What is all this crap? Aliens! Hey, baby, fishing are. poles! Who's ever seen a shark that big? All this stuff's gotta go. Why'd you get in this business, you prick? Huh? For the pussy. That's why. What is this? This is my art. Security! Look, you pompous asshole. I own you now. I own all of this. We're gonna turn this place around. I'm gonna make you rich. Uh, you're, you, you're Tommy Vassetti, but I thought that you were... That's right. We're gonna be making some changes around here and start making some real money. Actually, have you ever thought about, um... But first, we're gonna need some good-looking bras. Yeah, girls are fine, but you, wow. What's that guy think this is? Some free art crap? Geez, like anyone ever watch movies about fish? Piss me off, man. Keep moving. Yo, Candy, I'm looking for movie talent. You interested? Sure. But you'd have to I'm talk to my agent. The hell are you doing? You should have stayed at home today. Can you believe this, asshole? Hey, Mercedes. Mm -hmm, yeah. Hey, Tommy. You want a party? Not now, sweets. You interested in doing some movies? Of course, as long as it's cheap and sleazy. <laughs> You're hired. Get in. Hey, Tommy. You coming in for a warm-up? Maybe later, babe. Cool 
shark. How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What I say about the giant shark? <sighs> I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? Get those flyers printed up. Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer. Sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale, for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But, Stevie... Now's my star director. Oh, man, the struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping action <sighs> continues unabated. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, all four videos will be released mm. by their... Honey, can you please keep the Andacon and the shoddy cost more per hour than you do? Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Mm. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? Mm. Well, in the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, little sequin numbers in the limos. Uh, oh, mm. premieres. Oh, yes, uh, ma'am. Of course, yeah. ma'am. And the mm. press and the barrage of lights. Mr. Mercedes? Hey, you bought the old print works? Yeah, my old man used to work on these. I used to spend the evenings with him cleaning the rollers. I was going to follow him in his trade, but I lived a different life. You planning on selling the old machinery? Breaking it down? I'm thinking we might print something. A newspaper, a magazine. Oh, crap, Sonny. Low-grade crap. I've always fancied printing money. It ain't too hard. You know, I've been doing it on a small scale for years. Really? Sure. But we need some good quality plates. Of course. 
there's a counterfeiting syndicate already operating in Florida. A syndicate? Yeah, but just rumors is all I've heard. I know a man who's good with rumors. Look at the ass on that. Oh, all right, girls, you're lost, mate, innit? All right, me old China. That's Aggie. What do you know about counterfeiting? Oh, I'm fine, Paul. How about you? Come here. Oh, all right, all right, all right. You're obviously a busy man. All I know about dodgy reddies is to try and supply the plates. Oh, fuck. Fuck. You know, they've got a shipping company down the docks. Ah, uh, uh, the boss man would know when the plates are coming in next. Thanks, Paul. What's the matter with you, you maniac? Give me another drink, lively. All right, the courier's moving the plate from the docks today. I'm going to go intercept them, grab the plates, lose any heat, and make my way back here. Now, depending how well this goes, we may have five minutes to print the money before the counterfeit syndicate finds us, or we may have all year. Either way, I want green rolling off the presses five minutes after I get back. Got it? Don't you worry, Tommy. We'll be ready. Me and the boys will be around in the neighborhood in case you need any heat taken care of. All right, everybody cool? All right, I'll catch you later. Oh. Okay, what's the emergency? Oh. Who? Oh, Tommy. Some mob thugs said they'd come to take their cut. Said it was a Mr. Farello's money. Oh, I feel like crap. Farelli? Sonny Farelli? Yeah, that's the guy. I think they were very oh, insistent. I'm not angry with you. Get him to the hospital. Tommy, rip that guy a new asshole for me. I'm gonna rip him too. What's going on? Tommy. Oh, good, good, good. Listen, listen, uh, listen. I like fish. I love fish. I love them as pets in bowls or as food on a plate. But as much as I love them, I don't want to sleep with them, okay? But right now, your Italian brothers are coming from up there to fit me with some cement shoes. And I... Shut up, Ken. Sit down. Lance, what the hell's going on? It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you kept their man. They're coming down to see the business today. They took longer than I thought. Guys, we gotta make this final. We gotta leave no doubt that this is my operation. Mine! Ken, you get the first one to counterfeit cash and put 20 mil in briefcases. Lance, you get the guys together. Tommy! Why? No big hugs for your old buddy. I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty on family <laughs> etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man. They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, Tommy. Sonny. Tommy, watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? I'm sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No. I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out. The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So, Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I'd just take the fake cash, save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No. I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. You took 15 years from me, Sonny, and now I'm gonna make you pay! You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy! Those 15 years were mine to spend. Get him, boys, he never understood a thing.
Tommy? Oh my God, Tommy, what, what happened? What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit. And Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. Tommy, what on earth happened? I had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I ever like that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're going to be getting any more heat from up north either. Because there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, I mean you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful?
Things are interesting. How are you, my friend? I wanted to ask you about Mercedes. Okay. What about her? Oh, Tommy. Tommy, I, I, I hear these stories, all these stories. I don't know what to think. Maybe she thinks she could do what she likes. But Tommy, tell me, is it true? Is what true? These stories I hear. She, she, she really going to be a lawyer. Tommy, the shame. The shame. You know, we Cortez are a proud family. We would never allow a daughter of ours to become a lawyer. Please tell me if he's isn't so. I, I don't think I could take it. Oh, Kernan, I can assure you, Mercedes is never going to become a lawyer. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank you, Tommy. Tommy, thank you. The shame would be unbearable. She's a lady, not a parasite, you know? Anyway, Tommy, you must excuse me, all right? The new Minister of Interior has arrived. Many years ago, I killed his father in a failed coup, so I must be polite. Hey, good day, amigo. Tommy Facetti, how's it going, Mr. Big Shot? I hear all these things about you, some kind of player in town now, eh? Paul, you're drunk. No, you stupid pal, I ain't drunk. I had a couple, some treats. I've been a bit of a couple of days, you know. Anyway, don't give me that, I ain't a mug. Who set you up in this town? Who? Oh, me, that's who. Really? Don't give me that, don't. I introduced you to people, I showed you the ropes. A lot of stuff for you, and this is how you repay me. You ignore me. You won't give me a way in, or after all I'll do for you. What do you think I am, a devil, Sonny? Paul, take it easy. I've been busy. Don't be an idiot. I ain't no idiot, Mush. That's what I said in Bolstal. You ask skip the trouble, son, because you're going to get it. <laughs> Tommy, mate, please. It was me big old, please. Don't laugh at me. Uh, Paul, get some sleep, seriously. Tommy, it's Paolo. How are you? Right, mate. Anyway, thought I had to drop you a line. Oh, my good lord, my son. You will not believe the quality of the brass I just encountered. Streetwalk or something, just down in Little Havana, mate. Said her name was Mercedes or something. Oh, my God, mate. You've got to check this bird out. Could strip the lead out of a pencil. Said I was the best you ever had and all. Keep your potato skin for this seeing ya. Tommy, Tomas, it's Cortez, que pasa? Things are interesting. How are you, my friend? I wanted to ask you about Mercedes. Okay, what about her? Oh, Tommy, Tommy, I, I, I hear these stories, all these stories, I don't know what to think. Maybe she thinks she could do what she likes, but Tommy, tell me, is it true? Is what true? These stories I hear. She, she, she really going to be a lawyer. Tommy, the shame, the shame, you know, we Cortez are a proud family. We would never allow a daughter of ours to become a lawyer. Please, tell me if he's isn't so. I, I don't think I could take it. Oh, Kernan, I can assure you, Mercedes is never going to become a lawyer. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank you, Tommy. Tommy, thank you. The shame would be unbearable. She's a lady, not a parasite, you know? Anyway, Tommy, you must excuse me, all right? The new Minister of Interior has arrived. Many years ago, I killed his father in a failed coup, so I must be polite. Hey, good day, amigo. Tommy Facetti, how's it going, Mr. Big Shot? I hear all these things about you, some kind of player in town now, eh? Paul, you're drunk. No, you stupid pal, I ain't drunk. I had a couple, and some treats. I've been a bit of a couple of days, you know. Anyway, don't give me that, I ain't a mug. Who set you up in this town? Who? Oh, me, that's who. Really? Don't give me that, don't. I introduced you to people, I showed you the ropes. Did a lot of stuff for you, and this is how you repay me. You ignore me. You won't give me a way in, or after all I'll do for you. What do you think I am, a devil or something? Paul, take it easy. I've been busy. Don't be an idiot. I ain't no idiot, Mush. That's what I said in Bolstal. You are skip the trouble, son, because you're going to get it. <laughs> Tommy, mate, please. Use me big old, please. Don't laugh at me. Uh, Paul, 
get some sleep, seriously.